Howdy folks, today we are looking at a Sansui 3900Z. This is uh, one of Sansui's earlier digital display models. Pretty sure the digital is right over here. We'll hopefully see that a little bit later. Uh, this one came to me with a bad power switch and a bad power cord, I believe. Uh, if I recall correctly, uh, what the guy said was that the uh, power switch doesn't actually do anything and that somebody had spliced a uh, lamp roller, like one of those little click switches that you flip with your finger, into the uh, power cord, which he has then taken back out. Uh, but he says that right now the uh, power switch does absolutely nothing but it does work and it's just always on. So I'm gonna do what I always do and make sure that nothing terrible is going on inside before I plug it in. And it's especially important this time around considering plugging it in equals turning it on. So yeah, I guess let's uh, get right into it. Alrighty, not the cleanest I've seen, but not too, too bad. A little dusty, we'll uh, end up blowing that out with a uh, air compressor here in a little bit. Um, interestingly, I noticed that uh, this thing takes batteries. Uh, it's got a little bucket back here for a pair of double A's. I'm guessing that's for your station preset memory. Uh, that's, my, that's my guess. Uh, let's see what else is going on in here. Yeah, nothing, nothing looks, you know, nothing's jumping out as fried or bulging. Nothing is really particularly scary. Fuse there looks good. Let's see if I can get a closer look at this power switch down here. Okay. Let's see, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, okay. So the power switch is right down here. You can kind of see it move. So I would guess that what it's supposed to do is tie these two posts right here together. So let's see. And if we just, yep, those are together and still tied together. So let's see, where do these go? These come up to here. Let's see, that runs over there. All right, one of these goes back over there. All right, so yeah, assuming that that is what the power switch is supposed to do, we're definitely going to have to uh, investigate that a little bit. But being that this one does theoretically uh, power on and actually work, let's, uh, let's just start there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug this thing in and we'll take a look at what it does. All right, let's give this a shot, see what happens. Let's see, make sure that's all the way down. Let's make sure the speakers are off. This doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure all of those are off. <laughs> all right. Well, that's a start. Turns on, that's good. We have a little light over here. Uh, let's see what happens if we try to... Hey, look, the digital works. That's pretty cool. Let's see if our presets... All right, those are all over there. We'll figure out how to set those later. Let's see. How does this thing work? Let's see. 
auto tuning. Ah, look at that. All right, so the little blinky light replaces the needle. Without an antenna on here, I can't really auto tune much. Let's see. Wonder if I can manually tune this thing somehow. Hmm. Let's see. Auto local, mono distant. It's going to be stereo. Um, we've got our bass, we've got our treble, we've got our balance, high filter loudness, but no manual tuning. Interesting. Let's see, and if I just tap it, nope, if I tap it, it still does that. If I hold it, it continues going and doing whatever it wants to do. So it looks like you can't actually manually tune this thing. That's interesting. Oh, I just noticed the little lights up across there, too. All right, well, let's see if this thing makes noise. Uh, turn on speakers A. Pretty scratchy, and we are on one side right now. That's interesting. With it off, we have the right channel. But it fills out when we turn it on. That's fun. That'll be really fun to troubleshoot. All right, we have left and we have right. Okay, so it does make noise. It is a full stereo amplifier when the power switch is on, and it is a lower powered single channel amplifier when the power switch is off. That's really fun. So I think I'm going to have to do some troubleshooting on this guy. But before we get there, I don't think I'm, I'm gonna do that all recorded right now. But before we get there, let's see what kind of what kind of lamp do we have here? This looks like it's just a uh, little. Let's see, are you a bayonet or a bipin or what are you? Let's see. Let's unplug it. Oh, you are soldered straight on. Well, that's a pain. You can kind of see it here. Just barely peeking up over the edge. That is soldered in. I don't think I'm going to bother with it then. It works. It's soldered in. I'm not going to mess with it. So, this was a uh, quick one here, but I think that'll do for today. And next time around with this guy, hopefully I'll have uh, had some time to poke around with it and have some idea what's going on with the uh, 
with the power switch and the one channel and yeah that should be that should be fun to go through next time around so thank you as always for watching and we will see you next time